Hi, I'm Dawson Church from EFT Universe. I'd like to share with you today some really important health information about your stress hormone called cortisol. You've probably heard about cortisol because there's an association between cortisol and belly fat. So many people focus on lowering cortisol, lowering stress, because there's this proven link between high levels of cortisol and the accumulation of fat around the waist and hips. But cortisol, high cortisol over time, has many other bad effects on your health. And research has shown that high cortisol correlates with risk factors like osteoporosis, loss of bone mass, loss of muscle mass, loss of skin elasticity, the difficulty of converting short-term to long-term memories, other problems with memory and learning, all kinds of negative effects from high levels of cortisol over time. You're meant to have a moderate level of cortisol in your body. And cortisol is produced by the same part of your body, the adrenal cortex, that produces other important hormones like adrenaline and DHEA, which is your main cell repair hormone. In fact, the molecule of DHEA looks a lot like the molecule of cortisol. They look very similar to each other because their molecular structure is the same and they are based on the same two biological precursors, which are pregnenolone and progesterone. So either your body is using your supply of those two precursor molecules to make lots of cortisol if you're stressed, or if you're relaxed, your body then uses those same two precursors to make lots and lots of DHEA, which is your most common hormone and also your key cell repair and anti-aging hormone. So it's like a teeter-totter. It's like a balance. Lots of DHEA, lower cortisol. If you recruit your body's resources to produce lots of cortisol, you rob your body of those two precursors required to make DHEA. So the right amount of cortisol is really crucial to your health. And many of us who are stressed have way, way, way too high a level of cortisol. With some colleagues in various institutions. I did a study of cortisol and we found that after EFT, after a single session of EFT, people had a significant reduction in their cortisol levels when compared to regular psychotherapy or a simple rest. This was a triple blind study, not just double blind, triple blind study where the subjects did not know they were part of a study comparing EFT to psychotherapy to rest. They thought they were coming in for a cortisol test. The the therapists didn't know that they were part of a study comparing the, the three, and the lab that analyzed the results and the statistician that analyzed the data, they also did not know which group was which. So a very, very powerful study, 83 subjects showing that EFT significantly lowers your cortisol. Now, we don't lower your cortisol to zero or nothing because you need some cortisol to be alert. Cortisol is your basic alertness and performance hormone. And the way your body secretes it is interesting. Your cortisol is supposed to be at its low point around midnight and 4 a.m. And at its peak around 8 a.m. So a typical cortisol rhythm is low in the middle of the night, rising around 6 a.m., high point 8 a.m., then declining again until it starts to get low at 8 p.m. You feel sleepy, you drop off to sleep maybe around 10 or 11, it's at its low point at midnight and 4 a.m., then a big rise again in the morning. So it's like a wave, 8 a.m., noon, 4 p.m., 8 p.m., midnight, 4 a.m., 6 a.m., 8 a.m., low again, lowering, noon, 4 p.m., 6 p.m., and so on. Nice, smooth wave is what you want your cortisol to look like. But many of us have a disrupted cortisol pattern. I also recommend you get an inexpensive online cortisol test kit. These simply measure the levels of cortisol in your saliva. And you can measure cortisol either in the saliva or in the bloodstream, but the salivary cortisol measure is more useful because that's available cortisol. It's called bioavailable cortisol. It's available to your body, whereas some of the cortisol in your bloodstream is not available to your body. So I really recommend getting this test, picking up a test kit. You then test yourself every four hours. Just with a simple saliva swab, you chew it for a couple of minutes and then mail those swabs back into the lab and they'll tell you what your rhythm is. And see if you've got that nice smooth sine wave 
or whether you've got a disrupted cortisol rhythm, take those results to your physician and share them with him or her, and they'll help you interpret them and know whether or not you have, are at risk for high cortisol, low cortisol, or dysregulated cortisol. So I'd really urge you to uh, get one of these simple tests online. There are many companies that offer them, and do a cortisol test for yourself, see what your cortisol level is like, and even try it with EFT. Uh, you can find the results of my cortisol study on the EFTuniverse.com website, as well as all kinds of other resources, research-based clinical EFT techniques that will guide you to use EFT effectively to reduce your stress. I urge you to pay attention to your stress levels today. Love yourself enough to lower those cortisol levels. Normalize your cortisol levels. Don't expose yourself to high stress, high cortisol for years and months and days. T take care of yourself. Let go of those issues with EFT. If you look at the research on the EFTuniverse.com website, you'll find many other clinical trials showing how EFT helps lower stress, how EFT can help you improve your cortisol levels and other biomarkers, and the whole range of resources of clinical EFT. So please, take care of yourself, love yourself, reduce your stress, tap often, and don't let that high cortisol level stay that way for too long.